Welcome back to our channel. We're Jamie and Skylar, and we recently spent six days at the amazing Bahia Principe Luxury Ambar in Punakana. In our first two videos, we took you on the ultimate tour of the resort and showed you how to make the most of your day at the Ambar. But we hope you came hungry, because today's video is all about the food. From breakfast by the pool to dinner by the beach, we'll show you the entire dining experience from our stay at the Ambar. And what a better way to get this video started than with breakfast by the beach at Las Brisas. Here you can begin your day with a Bloody Mary, mimosa, fresh juice, or coffee while you await your order from the a la carte menu. Breakfast diners at Las Brisas will find the menu to include a variety of breakfast options in both English and Spanish. The menus for each Ambar restaurant can be accessed on your electronic device by scanning a QR code found at each restaurant's entrance. Skylar's breakfast favorites at Las Brisas included the Eggs Florentine, Eggs Benedict, and of course, extra bacon. My favorites included the stuffed French toast, stuffed croissant, and for a healthier option, the gluten-free breakfast. And while the food at Las Brisas is great, our favorite part of breakfast here was without a doubt the views, as diners can enjoy their breakfast poolside or beachside. Diners who prefer a buffet experience for breakfast will find just that at Palmyra, located in the lobby. Upon entering Palmyra, we were provided with a plastic glove to be worn when serving ourselves at the buffet. Like Las Brisas, guests at Palmyra can start their day off with a mimosa or Bloody Mary before helping themselves to a wide selection of breakfast food items. Sweet lovers like me will find plenty of pastries and donuts to choose from, while carnivores will find no shortage of breakfast meats. And while we did find the breakfast at Palmyra to generally not be as appealing as the made-to-order items at Las Brisas, we were happy to find freshly prepared omelets, eggs benedict, a potato and egg skillet, and even hard-boiled quail eggs. But our favorite breakfast item at Palmyra was easily the fresh fruits, which can be enjoyed as a juice, or even on pancakes, French toast, or a crepe. Now that we've shown you the breakfast options at the Bahia Luxury Ambar, it's time for lunch. And just like breakfast, guests can choose between Las Brisas and Palmyra for their midday meal. One thing we particularly enjoyed about Las Brisas lunches was the sangria. Because who can resist a cold sangria on a hot Dominican day? Unlike breakfast, lunch at Las Brisas is buffet style, where guests can help themselves to several options such as pizza, grilled meats, tropical fruits, a variety of salads, and of course, dessert. Skylar's favorite lunch options at Las Brisas were the freshly grilled steak and fish, while mine were the salads and this delicious strawberry dessert. Back at Palmyra, guests may not find the beautiful ocean views that they can find at Las Brisas, but they will find a much cooler option compared to the open-air restaurant. Lunch guests at Palmyra can also find sangria, which we found still tastes pretty good even without the ocean view. While similar to the buffet at Las Brisas, we found the Palmyra Lunch Buffet to have a few more options, including a wide assortment of fresh breads, cold cuts, and cheeses. And if you're looking for a quick daytime snack that won't even require you to change out of your swimsuit, you can grab some freshly cooked paella or even some ice cream right next to the pool. Now that we've explored your breakfast and lunch options, it's almost time to check out the amazing a la carte dinner restaurants. But if you find the restaurants are all booked up, or if you just prefer a more casual dining scene, the sports bar may be the right spot for you. 
Located on the west end of the property, near the lobby, the sports bar offers guests a comfortable, air-conditioned bar with a good selection of drinks and a few food options, including wraps, sandwiches, burgers, and wings. Our favorites from the sports bar were the dirty martinis and the wings, which were sweet, crispy, and delicious. And while we weren't able to get them on video, we also really enjoyed the mozzarella sticks. Now that we've checked out the sports bar, it's time to get dressed to impress, because next up, we're heading to Limbo. Located at the northwest corner of the property, Limbo is the most formal of the Ambar a la carte restaurants. Upon entering Limbo, guests will find an amazing cocktail bar located in the center of the restaurant. While guests could not sit at the bar during our stay, we were still able to order from their two amazing cocktail menus. From the welcome cocktail menu, we ordered the Angel Kiss and the Frambuesa 75. We found the drinks to be very flavorful, with both receiving our approval. Next, it was time to order our food, which included an appetizer, starter, main course, and dessert. We started off our meal with seafood, ordering the scallops and creamy sea urchin appetizer. The scallops were as amazing as they looked and were Skylar's favorite seafood dish on the whole resort. The sea urchin was a first for both of us and something I wasn't overly excited to try. But with a little coaxing from Skylar, I did try it and was actually pretty impressed. We kept the seafood coming with the starters and ordered the tuna tataki, which was cooked to perfection, and the shrimp, which was sweet, spicy, and perfectly crispy. For the main course, I ordered the sirloin, which was fantastic, and in our opinion, every bit as good as the steaks we ate at the meat restaurant. Skylar ordered the turbot, but only because the lamb dish was not available. While the mild whitefish was quite good, it was a slight disappointment as we had both been excited to try the lamb. Next up was dessert, where we ordered the chocolate textures and the lemon cloud. As the lemon cloud included no description on the menu, we were both surprised when it arrived covered in chocolate. And because Skylar is not a big fan of chocolate, this meant I got to eat the majority of both desserts. And while I did enjoy the lemon cloud, my favorite of the two desserts was definitely the chocolate textures, which paired perfectly with the sweet and tart passion fruit soup that it came with. Last but not least came the after-dinner cocktails, of which we had a selection of six to choose from. We had a hard time choosing just two, but ended up going with the ultimate margarita and the Passion Cafe. The margarita was fantastic and a level above those that you'll find at the beach or pool bars. The Passion Cafe combined the flavors of rum, coffee, and passion fruit. And while we weren't quite sure how these flavors would pair, it ended up being Skylar's favorite drink of the evening. Our next dinner experience takes us to Las Olas Beach House, located just off the southeast corner of the Ambar property. Here you'll find the seafood, Mexican, Greek, and Indian restaurants. And since Skylar and I both love Indian food, Tali Indian was at the top of our list. When we arrived at Tali, we weren't surprised to find a beautiful Indian-themed restaurant, but what we were surprised to find was this absolutely breathtaking view.
Needless to say, we were both pretty excited for the opportunity to dine with an ocean view at sunset. And since we had arrived a few minutes before our reservation, we even had some extra time to soak up the view. We were delighted to start our dinner off with two of Tolly's specialty cocktails. And when it came time to order, we were both impressed with the large selection of starters. We kicked off the food portion of the meal with the chickpea samosa and the tandoori chicken, both of which paired perfectly with the specialty cocktail and amazing ocean views. Next up were the main dishes, from which we struggled to choose just two of the eight options. We eventually selected the butter chicken and the lamb rogan josh. Skylar was especially happy to eat some delicious lamb after missing out on it at Limbo. And I was a big fan of my butter chicken as well. While neither of us saved room for dessert, we ordered it anyway. And from our choices, the Rab Rai Tartlet was the winner and a perfect way to cap off an amazing dinner experience. Our next dinner experience started off with a cart ride from the Ambar Lobby to the Esmeralda property, where you'll find the traditional Dominican restaurant. Our meal at the Dominican restaurant started off with more specialty cocktails and beachfront views. While we found the menu to be rather small compared to some of the other restaurants, we had no trouble finding several items that we were excited to try. We started our order off with the banana, yucca, and sweet potato chips, which were crispy and delicious. Next up were the yucca dumplings stuffed with stewed meat and the banana dumplings stuffed with crab. And while we both thought the crab stuffed banana dumplings were really good, we were absolutely blown away by the yucca dumplings, which we both agreed were the best of all of the appetizers we tried at the Ambar. Next up were the entrees, which included five options to choose from. I ordered the traditional mafungo, which came topped with several shrimp and a delicious white shrimp sauce. Skylar was excited to order the whole fried fish. And while we have no idea what kind of fish it was, we do know that it was huge and delicious. Next up were the desserts, which we once again had five to choose from. Skylar ordered the tres leches, which we both thought was pretty good. But Skylar much preferred the shot of Mama Juana, which is not something he ordered or needed, but certainly did enjoy. My dessert order was the pina colada. And while it was not at all what I expected, it was equal parts adorable and delicious, and was my favorite dessert of the whole trip. While we didn't know quite what to expect from the Dominican restaurant starting out, it ended up being one of our favorite dining experiences and one that we'd highly recommend. Our fourth and final restaurant stop takes us past the pool to the northeast end of the property, where you'll find Meat Steakhouse. Because we read such great reviews of meat before visiting the Ambar, we actually booked this one twice. Both meals at meat started off with a bread basket and you guessed it, another delicious specialty cocktail. Next up were the appetizers, of which we had six to choose from. Between our two visits, we tried the Caesar salad, mac and cheese, the crab cake, and the wings, of which our favorites were the wings and the salad. Next up were the main courses, which, as expected, included lots of meat. On night one, we ordered the ribeye and churrasco steaks. Both came in good-sized portions with fantastic sauces. And considering we ordered the same two entrees on our second visit, 
I think it's safe to say that we enjoyed them. And because we can't end our last dinner at the Ambar without dessert, we ordered the lemon pie and the double chocolate brownie. While Skylar was once again unimpressed to find that his lemon dessert came with chocolate, I was more than happy with my brownie, which was nothing but chocolate. The restaurant tour may be over, but our luxury Ambar experience is not, as we'll be bringing you the fourth and final episode of our Ambar series shortly. In that video, we'll tell you about the things we loved, as well as a few things we didn't, at the Bahia Ambar. And if you haven't already seen our Bahia Ambar tour, or how to spend a day videos, you can go ahead and check them out right now. Thanks for watching.